Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing all my last mini tips on how to get A plus for a maths paper in SPM. So before we begin this video, I just want to say that I hope for those of you who have sat for the Pendidikan Moral paper, it went well. And I just want to explain why I didn't do a moral video. I know many of you have requested for it. But the reason why I didn't do it is because I'm not sure of the format changes if anything has changed since I last sat for that paper. Because on my year itself when I was in Form 5, throughout the year the format was changing for me. Like in the beginning of the year there was one format that we had to follow and then like when it's June there's a new format that we have to follow. So within my Form 5 year itself the format was ever changing so I didn't want to like make a video when I'm not sure about the new format because I don't want to like give the wrong information to you guys so I hope you understand. Also along with this video that I have posted today, I have also posted another video called how to get A plus for physics in SPM my last minute tips so if you do take physics for SPM then make sure that you go and watch that video after you watch this one. So now let's begin today's video and my first tip for AdMats SPM is to go through all the formulas, the list of formulas in Form 4 and Form 5 SPM and I have found websites where you can get the complete formulas. I'll leave them in the description box below so you can go like download that and print that and try to read all that. Go through all that. Um, they have the complete list of formula for Form 5 and Form 4 and Maths as well. So formulas are really important when it comes to doing at Maths. So make sure you do go through that formula, take note of it. And Number two is past year papers. Past year papers are important for all the subjects but Mostly for admats, it is so so important because if you have done enough past year questions, then you would have noticed that every single year the questions are always the same, but only the numbers are changing. It's all in some kind of same question style. Only the numbers are changing. So if you can answer past year questions, then getting an A plus in admats shouldn't be a problem for you. Also, generally speaking, the questions that are in SPM and in the SPM past year papers for admats are much easier than the ones you would find in activity books or in reference books or whatever. So if you can't manage to get the answers for the uh, questions in your reference books and activity books, definitely you should try. But if you can't, then don't freak out. Just focus on past year instead. I think that during this crucial time, instead of doing questions from activity book or reference books or even from your tuition centers or from school, you should just attempt all the past year questions that you can find from whichever year that you can find or it could just be like um, the latest version that is in the bookstore whatever it is just go through those past year questions again get the set of past year questions done without referring to the answer and see how much you can do and once you're done attempting those past year questions on your own you're going to go through those and mark them um, based on the working that they provide at the back of those past year books so usually past year books they provide answers so that is very convenient for us you can just go through the working and then those working that you miss out on, add in with red pen. If you have been doing practice consistently, um, MX shouldn't be a problem for you. But if you still don't understand certain topics, then try to understand those from your past year papers as well. Just attempt one full past year paper and do whatever you can do. Mark those. And then for the questions that you don't know or if you left those questions blank, you have to really take note of those questions and then get help from whoever can help you. It could be an older sibling or a friend or a teacher. Um, just get help from the people who can help you. Make sure that um, you get them to explain to you step by step how to do it and you're going to do it on your own. Um, I think that for admits, don't try to copy the working. You have to figure it out on your own. You have to do it on your own and then you refer to the answers at the back and see which working you missed out on and then fill it in. I definitely don't think that copying the working is the right way to study at maths or to learn at maths. So instead of just blindly copying the working, I think that you should get help from a friend or from someone who can explain the question to you. You should really try to understand it and then after that you're going to try to do the questions on your own. So I definitely think that during this time, doing more past year questions is really the key and you're going to do those questions on your own and evaluate your understanding of each topic. If 
there are certain topics that you're really like stuck on then try to get that question done maybe not try to understand the entire topic but the question that you are um, doing at that particular point make sure that you do know how to do it with the help of someone else maybe it's too late to go through the entire topic like maybe you don't know anything about functions right and that's a question on function definitely like in the first question i think in the MS Spatial papers, there will be functions. So, you are blurry about function, you don't know anything about function. Maybe it's too late to like learn the entire function topics because there are more topics to focus on. But what you can do is that question that you come across, right? The question that is in the Spatial paper, try to know how to do that question only. Like who knows, the same question might be repeated but with different numbers. So whatever question that you come across, make sure that you do know how to do it. So my third tip is to time yourself. I think that time is a very important factor for maths paper, whether it's modern maths or ad maths. Time is so, so important. So when you're going through those past year questions, you're going to time yourself. Like, just take note of the time on the clock. Maybe it's 2 o'clock when you started this paper. So you can write down on the um, front cover 2 o'clock and then you can take note of the time which you use to finish it. I think definitely try to do it as fast as you can without making careless mistakes, do it the best you can. And for me, one of my biggest fears when it comes to sitting for ad maths paper is definitely that I don't have enough time to attempt all those questions and to recheck those questions again. So usually in the exam, when I first open up the paper, I'll see some questions and maybe I can answer the first one, but then I see the second question and I feel like it needs some thinking, like some thinking needs to be done for this. I need to like really try to understand the question and try to like dig out from my memory how to do it. Then I will just skip the question first. Whenever you come across a question that you can't do directly, that you can't immediately do, then you can just skip that question first. Just circle that number or whatever and come back to it later. You're going to attempt all those questions that you're confident in and you know that you can solve it and you can get the right answer. You're going to do all those questions first. And once you do all those questions, your mind will kind of be cleared a little bit because you know that, okay, no matter what, I have got those questions down. I'm confident that I have gotten those answers. And then you can come back to the questions that you have skipped before. That is usually like the technique that I use in order to avoid spending too much time on any one question. Because if like on the second question itself, I feel like I can't answer this question, then I will lose confidence for all the other questions and I'll be panicking as well. I can't force my brain to think within such a short time because I know that there are so many other questions to attend, so I can't think properly. So I never force myself. Um, I always just skip straight ahead to the questions that I know first and I can do those and build up my confidence along the way and then I can come back to those questions. And usually when I do that, I will find that actually the question which I found difficult wasn't all that hard but because I was forcing myself and I was worrying about the time, I couldn't actually think. But once I know that I have extra time and I can come back to the question and think about it, then it's actually not that difficult. Before, I have the list of topics which are easier to score in AdMats and I'll put it like somewhere here. And if you are afraid of failing AdMats, then maybe you can try to get those topics right first. If you really have like zero clue about AdMats, then try starting with those topics because those topics are like easier to score. And just a little note for those of you who are maybe in Form 4 and you're watching this, when you're buying activity books or passive questions, make sure that you flip over to the answer page and make sure that they provide long working. You don't want to get a book where they give you the answer but without the working because doing that is just pointless. If you can't get the answer, then you're going to struggle and you're going to need uh, someone else's help. But if you get those activity books or past year questions which have the full working already, then you can try to understand that working on your own. But avoid copying the working, as I've said before, because copying is just useless. You won't know how to do it, the numbers will change, and memorizing the working is also useless. You have to figure it out on your own. The fifth thing when it comes to scoring A plus in NMAT's paper is simply to avoid any careless mistakes. I know that when it comes to maths, it is so easy to make careless mistakes because, I don't know, it's just easier to make careless mistakes when it comes to doing mathematics. Like, 
So the way to avoid careless mistakes is to train your speed of doing ad maths questions. So if you know how to do those ad maths questions already, now it's time to train your speed to do it. And one of the ways is of course to set a timer for yourself when you are attempting a full past year question. And you can time yourself and maybe try to increase your speed. But also um, using the technique that I said before, which is to attempt the questions that you are confident in first. Then you can go through those questions first and then come back to those questions that you don't know. That is one way to save time as well. So to avoid careless mistakes, you need to do the questions as quickly as possible because I always make sure that I have enough time to go through the entire question paper again. And I'll be doing the working in pencil beside that. Um, if you have rough paper, then it's best because you can do it on rough paper and you don't have to rub it. But usually I'll just do all the working again beside the question and I'll erase it um, later on. So always if you do have time, then make sure that you go through the entire paper again and attempt every single question again. Because to me at least, checking is not just like checking the working that you already have. Um, don't just go through the working and be like, okay, this seems right. I think this should be okay. No, you're going to re-attempt the question again. You're going to cover up the working that you have previously done and attempt the question again in pencil and see if you can get the exact same value again. That is the way to check your answer and avoid all careless mistakes possible because the worst way to lose marks is by making careless mistakes. You know the question, but just because you're careless, you're losing those marks. You don't want that to happen. So increase your speed of doing and then make sure that you check the entire paper again. So remember to go check out the links in the description box below the list of formulas for um, from 4 and from 5 both. There are two different links. Pick the links in the description box below. Go check them out and print them out if you need to. Do whatever you can. Understand those formulas and know how to apply them. And the next thing is the list of topics which are easier to score for MET. I'll leave them in the description box below as well so you can screenshot it from there if you want to. When it comes to MATS, practice is really the key and past year questions is the key. So what you have to do now is to go through past year questions. Really just go through past year questions, do it on your own. And for those of you who take physics, remember to go watch my physics video after you watch this one. And that's all for today's video. I wish you all the best for your MATS paper. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.